Welcome everybody to the Brookstone Boards Gaming Stream. I'm Pete coming to you from the Nerd Cave somewhere in Indian Trail and we've just got Big Booger subbing just now. That's awesome. Thank you for that. So at this point in the story, uh, I play as Commander Shepard, the, the, uh, the captain of the SSV Normandy. And uh, Shepard and his hardy crew are working diligently to find out the mystery of the beacon, a, uh, a mysterious artifact le left behind by an ancient civilization known as the Protheans. And uh, so uh, Commander Shepard and his crew have to go around the galaxy trying to figure out the mystery behind this beacon and what it could potentially mean for the fate of the galaxy. Now, the last time I played, I had finished up everything at the Citadel, which is the kind of the hub world. It's where, where, where all the galactic civilizations come and live and hang out. Um, I had just rescued uh, one of the crew members, uh, 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 a girl named uh, Liara Tassoni. I had just rescued her, and we are now, well, there are two planets we can go to, a planet called Novaria and, and a planet called... Um, Oh, crap. <laughs> I forgot the other one. Uh, Fer 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 or, or something. I, I don't know. Well, well, we'll look when we jump in. So let's get into this now. So we got Artemis Tau, Hades Gamma, the Voyage of Pharos. That's the name of the other planet. Well, oh yeah, Mark. I'm telling you. And you need to start with this game. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I know we have to go, we have a mission on Novaria and we have a mission on Pharos. So we're gonna go to Novaria first. Oh, thank you for subbing, Sandy. Now, since this is where we have to go, we're gonna check out this system first, the Strenus system. This is the Mass, the Mass Effect Relay, that's how we do it. Sandy, Jesus! <laughs> Sandy, that was unnecessary. Dude, <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> Damn, Sandy. Thank you, buddy. God, hi, Rice Tails Epidemic. Dude, Sandy Ray unleashing, unleashing. All right, so this is a no. So Yunthori is out. Zawin has, uh, it's a level one cold hazard. Probably shouldn't go there. Oh, Sandy, that's great, man. I know you've been dealing with some shit, so it's very, 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 very good to see that you're, see things are happening for you again. Now, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I am scanning these different planets in this system, looking for uh, gases or whatever, or minerals or anything like that. But also, you can land on some of these planets and have little miniature adventures. So, I'm checking that out too. Let's see, Traylon doesn't have anything. It's a lifeless rock. And Antitara. Oh, I can survey. There's a gas deposit survey. Large deposit of helium-3. Hi, cool. I believe that is the last body in this system. All right. Now let's go check out the pack system. Here we go. So there's Novaria. That's we are going there. That is a mission planet. But there are three other bodies in this system. Look up Svarog. Svarog doesn't have anything. Let's see. Morana doesn't look like that has anything. Icy planetoid. And of course, you know, when you play the game, you can read all this stuff. It's uh, little factoids about each planet and everything. This is Vels. Oh, you can survey. We can survey this planet. It says, we discovered the Matriarch's writings. There's a submission where you have, where you survey gas deposits, the Matriarch's writings, things like that. You survey all of those things from different planets. You can actually gain XP for those. So it's good to find them all. And now let's go to Novaria. Novaria is where we're going. It's a small frozen terrestrial world. All right, let's land. 
Oh, thank you, Jason. Because <laughs> if there control, are any, the we want to do them. Requesting a vector into birth. Oh, listen. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted. Normandy. I'm. That's me. I'm the council specter. Identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. That is Seth Green as the voice of Joker as well. So, all right. So now we're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. See, this is the this is the Normandy here. This is the bridge of the Normandy, right? So we just landed on on Novaria, so we have to go. Come on. Oh yeah. Exit the Normandy. All right, so we'll take Liara and we'll take Garrus. These are my people. Uh, we'll accept it. There we go. Actually, wait, before we do that. Ah, yes, that's right. I'm a biotic, uh, biotic tech. That's right. That's right. Couldn't remember. <laughs> couldn't remember what my guy was. All right. Let's go check things out. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. So here we are on Novaria. There's my there's our spaceship. Spaceship's hanging out. Going the right way? Yeah, oh, yep. Because there's some people here to meet me. That's far enough. See, so we can, then I can say things. What should I say, you guys? The stuff on the top, when you need these dialogue options, the stuff on the top is like positive, nice. Stuff in the middle is, you know, it's whatever. And the stuff on the bottom is uh, mean. Uh, actually, I'm trying to do I'm trying to do Paragon, so I'll say nice stuff. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. Who are you? You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Ilanis Risk Control Services. I outrank you. All you need to know is I have more credentials than you. They plan to be trouble, man. I can't let you enter the port area without confirmation of your identity. <laughs> Mako Sergeant will remember Sterling, that. secure their weapons. Nope. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Stand down. Their house, their rules. If you think this is best, Commander. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope That's the rest right, of bitch. your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Right on. Okay. That looks like a. Nope. Not a box. Is this the door? Where's the door? Ah, here we go. All right. Hey, look, it's a. It's kind of like maybe a blowjob station. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I need to go through there, but be thorough. This is an RPG after all. Hey, whoa, whoa. Hey. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You Thumb understand the attachment our station. chief was only doing her job. What Thanks, of my Big duties Papa. is orientation of new arrivals? <laughs> Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I'm not here. I'm not for them. here to dig out any corporate secrets. 
That's gratifying to hear. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? The guest. Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia. She is here? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. If you guys remember, Lady Benezia is uh, one of the bad guys. She's actually also voiced by Marina Sirtis, Counselor Troy from, from Star Trek The Next Generation. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Left Understood. At the top of can the we elevator. go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Sure. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard, about my mother. Yes, that's right. Lady Benezia is Liara's mother. Liara is a member of the crew, and uh, I actually can probably bang her later in the game. But that's beside the point. No, I don't. <laughs> I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. All right. These flying drones are fun. Uh, yes, kid, it means sex. <laughs> Welcome to Port Hanjan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own yeah. safety and to protect the privacy of others, and there's you are stuff. required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. <laughs> yes, kid. I didn't know if you knew that or not. <laughs> what do you have to say, business The managers woman? warned us about you. Uh, well, fuck you too, lady. Hey, there's a Hanar in there. I love the way these guys talk. This one offers greetings. This one. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. <laughs> Indeed, esteemed Spectre, your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. I smell a side quest. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Huh. Smuggling, huh? You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. Yeah, we're gonna say no. I'm supposed to uphold the law, not break it. This one understands. The offer shall remain open. It truly needs the help. Well, I'm here Could to I shop. buy something now? Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Non-human armors, huh? And upgrades. Yeah, let's just... We're just selling it all. We'll just sell it all, because everything that we'll get... Yeah, 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 There we go. Sold it all. All right. Let's go... Let's run. <laughs> he runs, the camera gets all jiggly. All right. This is the guy. This is Annalise. Wait. How can I help you? Where is I'd like to speak to Annalise. One moment, please. My bad. Mr. Annalise. Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in.
There he is. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. Wow. He's a little harsh. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Ooh. Should I tell on the guy? I don't want to tell on the guy. We're not going to tell on the guy. Let's ask about... I've heard something. an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. Peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. Excuse me, his what? Executor. Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady Benezia is authorized to act in his name. Saren's the bad guy. She's here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. What did you mean by personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. How about, fuck you, let me do it? Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Jesus, what a dick. Do you do business with Saren? I believe I explained this already, did I not? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. Hmm... I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. What a scumbag. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a... You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. <laughs> so it would seem. I need an Shoot alternative. Him. Thanks, Mark. Talk to Lorik <laughs> Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. Shooter. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. I'll be doing some shooting before too long. I'm I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. All right, let's go to the bar. Let's go find this Lord Keen. Yeah, he gets winded. This is the elevator I want. We just wait patiently. Oh. Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. Who? Oh, this bitch. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. 
you Everybody are a known keeps quantity, calling me names. I don't or like so it. Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... I... real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amcrafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? What they might be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Very well, Spectre. I'll be on my way. <laughs> that she could distract him. <laughs> yeah, see? Now my Paragon level went up. Oh, you guys didn't see that because my picture's in the way. But, yeah, my Paragon level goes up for that. For doing good stuff. Oh, and biotics are people who can basically use magic. They're like, they're, they're living bioweapons, basically. Uh, this girl, uh, Liara, in my party, she's a biotic. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the specter that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. Peak I 15. have places to go. That's what it's called. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's mm. become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. <laughs> I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas yes, will be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, well, there as well you go. as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? <laughs> Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nafak. How did you get a pass? Hungry Nafak. I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? <laughs> Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Hanshan's security <laughs> team searching my offices. Wink, wink, say no more, He's say no paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo was unaware of their outside employment. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? All right, then. Okay, so we've got to go to Synthetic Insights, which is on this lower floor. See, this game is like the, the primary mode of gameplay is shooting. But there's also exploration, talking to people. The, you're, it's an RPG, so you're leveling up. You're improving, uh, improving your abilities. Uh, you, you improve your weapons. You improve your armor. So we'll go down this way. Okay. 
this in here, right? Yes. Okay. So I hope you guys sign on for some action so you're because you're gonna get it. Who's this dude? When they have names, it's usually a good idea Spectre, to Spectre, right? Yes? Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except then I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the What's problems up on here? Peak 15. Synthetics insights That's where I shut go. down by Analeus, and the matriarch came through. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeus or the managers if you can polish enough gizzard. I have okay. to go. All right, we're we're good. You here. need anything? I'll be here. All right. Let's go do some shooty shoot bang bang. Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. Laura Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Ooh, I see that. See how that one's blue? That's an extra dialogue option that I can take because I have that. Um, because I have a bunch of points in it. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a varin up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Oh, what? Why? 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 Who's shooting? Who's shooting? Ow! I'll decrypt this. All right. Oh, you got to play like a little Frogger game with it. There we go. Take all. Thank you. All right. And there was a crate over here, I thought. Yep. And I can manually decrypt this as well. Aha! Yeah! Better stuff. There's a exclamation point over here. I must be upstairs. In the meantime, I'll get this computer right here. Yeah. Oops. Missing persons. A man named Gareth is looking for information on the whereabouts of one of his freighters. Believes his brother's ship may have been attacked by privateers while traveling through the Strenus system, investigating the penny. So now that I've got that, I can actually go to the Strenus system and activate this is this, uh, the activation of a subquest. So that's now in my journal. Now, is that upstairs? It's gotta be. Yeah, it's got. It's got. Yeah, it's gotta be. Okay. Dumb bastard. Make sure there's no crap over here. All right. All right. 
There's Lorik's computer. Ooh, average decryption. All right. Oh, shit. Hello. Dang. Woo! Get some meta gel. That's always good. Download the evidence. And I've got it. Uh-oh. Oh, it's these people again. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. You have me at a disadvantage, miss. Oh, now you're gonna show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Anaeus ah. would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off-duty, breaking the law for bribe money. I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Well, I don't need a gun oh, to oh, rip oh, you oh. to pieces. Let's use a power on her. This will be fun. How about throw? Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it, dummy. There's a guard back here. Oh, I'm gonna hit you with one too. How about let's use overload and bust your shield? How about that? Ha <laughs> ha! God, I love this game. <laughs> Oh, there's somebody, somebody else over here. Ooh, door control, easy decryption. Yes, it was. Open that door. Let me in there. Yeah, I'll take that stuff. Yeah, I'll take that stuff too. And how about the safe? Yeah. Yeah. Decrypting stuff is tight. Are they? Ah, oh, they're they're downstairs. Oh. Wait. Uh oh, that's gonna hurt. Good here. Let me just get out. Okay, we gotta go back and see the guy. Hopefully he'll give me a pass. Oh. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the synthetic insights office. I don't know anything Would about it. Do you know anything about it? Probably Analeas's thugs ripping the place apart. <laughs> Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be mm. waiting. Okay. All right, we can chat. And make sure the that is the one for the hotel. That's right. So, Liara is an alien race known as the Asari. 
they're kind of androgynous, but they all present as female. Uh, Garrus, on the other side, is a Turian. According to Mass Effect lore, the Turians are a race that was the first aliens that humanity encountered when they went into space. Because of a miscommunication, it actually kicked off a war, and that was the first interstellar war between humans and an alien race, was with the Turians. We have since mended fences, and the Normandy, the spaceship that, uh, that Shepard and the crew fly around in, is actually a hybrid of human and Turian technology, which is why it's so goddamn awesome. Well, let's talk to Parasini before we go. Let's let's see what she Allow wants. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why is an internal affairs internal agent affairs. here? Internal affairs. The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. <laughs> Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt yeah, in one yeah. package. I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is, don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Analeas is dirty. It might be best to help her. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. See, when they say Inspectors things to you, fast it's something that the law. they'll, That's bad for they'll kinda like. Let's see. What's happening up on Peak 15? Before the weather closed in, Hanshan received a Code Omega signal from him. Code Omega means a terminal breach of safety protocols. No one goes up until the crew sends an all clear. And if the crew never sends an all clear? The executive board votes whether or not to destroy the facility. One Ooh. antimatter warhead from the battle stations vaporizes all contaminants. That doesn't tell me much. That's all I've got. No one knows what's going on up there. How can I get to Peak 50? The shuttles are down, so you'd have to drive up. If you get Keen up. to testify, I'll get into the garage. All right, I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come All talk right. to me once you know if he'll play ball. Oh, so she's going to go back to... There's that Vargas guy that What's Your Nuts wanted me to talk to. What sort of offer can I make you? Good. I don't All think right, Lorik. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against an alliance. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Ah, uh, see? See, and I got that blue one again. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. They'll be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Yeah, look Make at that paragon jump. You need with your contact. Oh, I will yeah. wait here. All right. So now I have to go. Now I have to go talk to her back in Analeas' office. her office again. Right, get rid of that. I don't need that. That's where I'm going. Yeah, there we go. I forgot you could use waypoints in this.
He's not a sprinter. <laughs> there we go. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. Yep. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. So, how about getting me into the garage? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Thanks. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. <laughs> this is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. I did the thing. Storm's just waiting for the April snow to start. Can I break into his computers? No. Okay. That's fine. All right. Let's go back. Okay. Keen said, come talk to her or talk to him after I talked to uh, that chick. So, well, hey, there's a, where are you? Oh, that's the shop. That's right. Yeah, Storm, it's funny. My uh, my father just posted a picture on Facebook a little while ago of um, it's snowing in Indiana. <laughs> I'm like, it's, it's mid-April, but, you know, snow, I guess. See what you have to say now. Miss Parasini contacted me as she lifted off world. Um, the board would be taking me into protective custody. Uh, okay then. All right, well then it's time to go to Synthetic Insights. Or not Synthetic Insights, but Peak 15. Completely confused by Sunday's forecast where it's supposed to be both 70 degrees and snow. Well, that'll be fun. All right. It's time to go cause some trouble. Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Yeah, Excuse you me. dead behind yes, the that's eyes, genuine. weirdo. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. Okay. Uh-oh. Those are geth. No one gets in or out. Are they dead? Hey, Mako. What did you do here, Commander? Me? I'm the victim here. The Geth attacked us. Geth? You expect me to... Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the Matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. Yeah. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. 
If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. I need numbers, Captain. A dozen? A hundred? Dozens, at least. They're machines. You could pack oh, them tightly. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose geth, there may be an investor panic. Well, all right then. Here we go. Use some meta gel. Make him make him better. Let's see, is there any? Just fusion containment cells. All right. Oh, upgrade kits. We like those. Yes, sir. All right. Let's get on the Mako. Go do some damage. Suck it, you get stooges. Oh, that's why he's not dead. Ouch. these things. Yeah, I'll get these decrypting things. Whoops. I'll take that. I'll take that. I think that's it. Yep. All right. driving some more.
burnt you. Looks like fun. Looks like we've got a Geth armature over there somewhere. Missile hits for this guy. Uh, I see it on my scopes, but oh, there it is. Ow. Oh, there we go. turret around here. Yep, right there. Come on. And then some guys. They must be inside. Uh-huh. Yep, they're inside. Hey, what's over here? Anything exciting? Nope. All right. All right, guys, let's get him. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's a guy up here. his shields and then we'll throw it Die, you user probing. alert all peak 15 facilities have suffered a great deal of damage okay. biohazard materials present throughout facility Virtual Anybody intelligence else? user interface offline. Anybody else wanna wanna crack wise? Huh? 
anybody else in here? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's uh, let's keep going. Looks like that's the way up over there. Aha! I knew there's going to be some shit in here. Yeah, I'll take that stuff. See, you're just you're just constantly getting new equipment in this game. So it's almost it's almost pointless to just oh well, let me let me switch that up. No, you don't need to worry about it. All right, open that door. What are those? They look like. Fun. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. An elevator? That's an elevator. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. You get XP for all that, too. God, I just love this game. I highly recommend it. If you guys don't know anything about this game, man, play it. Play it. Play it, play it, play it. Oh, nope. I want to take the elevator. Liara, you're looking uh, mighty sexy there in your outfit. I see bad guys. You're trying to sneak up on me? Can't sneak up on me. Stupid Geth. What was that? Animals, wind. This place is in bad shape. Hey, those are rap now. is not my field. Maybe someone in the labs knows. They are Rachni. I know. Let's open the Gravitic Research. Oh, it's just a codex entry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Med kit. Not that any of us, well, I'm hurt. Spoke too soon there. Okay. Oh. Who's casting the barrier? Oh, because there's a big rat nigh in here. How did he. I got an achievement for that. Thanks, Steam. And elevator. All right. Fun. A backup power system, Commander. In my Critical startup error. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Manual boot required. Okay, let me do it. All right. Okay. No, it's not. 
electronics lock. Okay. Hey, thanks. Okay, so let's manually restart this computer, I guess. To manually reconfigure the data banks or use OmniGel to repair the damaged systems. I will manually activate it. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. I like these. Uh, let's see. Um. got to get them all to the right so I'm usually decent at these Usually I'm pretty good at this. It looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would hey. you like help? Here's the station's VI. You're the virtual intelligence that runs this place? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard. I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. You're goddamn right I am. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. That bitch. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shutdown in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. <sighs> Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status so, query? Everything's broke. Do you know why the reactor was shut down? 
I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely. She was offline. Or in the case of catastrophic of laboratory was. containment failure. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you have unleashed to sleep. What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the helium-3 fuel line must be opened. This can be done at the controls on the reactor assembly proper. Okay. What are the landlines, and why are they disabled? The landlines connect my mainframes here at Central Station to the various sub-facilities of Peak 15. This allows the crew to remotely access my databases from the comfort and security of their labs. When emergency protocols were implemented within the hot labs, the cabling was automatically ejected. How do I reconnect the landlines? The landlines are designed for easy reconnection. The router Neat. for the landlines is on the roof of operations. Simply activate the controls and the hardware will reconnect and reboot automatically. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Mm, why were you taken offline? In the event, Peak 15 must be sterilized for security purposes. My program and data are purged. They kill you if something goes wrong? My systems are permanently disabled. To be killed, I would need to be alive. I am merely a database program. Tell me what occurred immediately before you shut down. Stage 1 alert issued at Hot Labs. Contaminants released from Laboratory Pod Gamma. Emergency protocols implemented. Stage 2 alert issued at Hot Labs. Isolation 2 breached. Tram shut down. Landline to Hot Labs disconnected. So everything Stage got really fucked. Stage 3 alert issued locally. Contaminants in tram tunnels. Station shut down and evacuation initiated. Code Omega sent. What sort of contaminants escaped? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only of course executives they do. of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. The creatures we've encountered here, did they come from the labs? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. It looks like this is the... The communications are User ready. alert. Landline connection now exiting to the roof. Yeah. User alert. So this will be where landline we hook up the landlines. Disabled. Passenger trams are offline. And it's the roof. And it's very chilly. And there is a lot of bad guys. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Connections are disabled. Passenger trams yeah, are offline. The line. There's the landline right there. That's near our terminal. Online. How may I assist you? That's all I need right now. Very well, right. Commander. Logging you out. Hey, you guys get your life back. There you go. Landlines repaired. Connections restored. There we go. Processing new data. User alert. Unable to connect to hot lab facilities. Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. We already know that. Emergency guidelines. That's all there I need right now. All right. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Let's get in this. Thank you. I enjoy stuff. And things. Let's 
and now we got to go back downstairs get the get the uh, trams back running User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Ooh. Hello. Did not see you coming. Okay, so got the roof up there, trams over there. That looks like main reactor. Shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. My shit's jammed. Mains. Okay. Hey, Dad. in a barrel up in this bitch. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance oh, with the procedures. Manual restart required. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mark. Yes, action. Be out there getting funky. Hello. No, no. Open you back up. I want to use that. Yeah. Fuck you, guy. All right. Bullshit. <laughs> yes. User Let's alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. <laughs> Manual restart required. I want to say they purposely made her sound like the lady from, uh, or the mother from um, Alien. The option to override automatic self-destruct. Okay. All right. The AG3 fuel line's cut. Yep, I got it. Thanks, Garrus. Okay, got the fuel lines fixed. I have completed the repairs to peak 15. Should be able to go back. Online, connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? What's this about loose contaminants? Dangerous biological agents are present in the tramway. The tram yeah. station has been sealed in the interest of crew safety. Activation of the fail-safe plasma jets is recommended prior to access. How do I activate the fail-safe system? Controls for the fail-safe systems are located in the security checkpoint outside decontamination. 
User alert. The fail-safe system is currently inoperable. What would it take to get the decon fail-safes operating again? There is a hardware fault in the control system. This can be repaired <laughs> on-site using a standard Army society, pretty crappy Army holograms. Tool. Come on, it's a great hologram. Unlock the decontamination chamber. User alert. Contaminants are present within the decontamination chambers. Passage is not recommended. How do I get rid of the contaminants? The chamber is equipped with a fail-safe system which vents a 5,000 degree Kelvin plasma. You already told me this about that. This is sufficient to sterilize any potential contagion. Unfortunately, the fail-safe system is disabled at this time. What's the problem? There is a hardware fault in the oh. control system. You already this said that can stuff. be repaired on site using a standard. That's all I need right now. Yeah. Very we're, well, we're Commander. Talking. Locking you out. We're done talking. Ah, let's go. More gun stuff. decontamination and transit hub user alert loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber access to passenger trailways they mean, inadvisable they mean nasty aliens is what they mean hey look there's nasty aliens over there they're locked in the door could be finessed it appears that the trams to the subsidiary stations are beyond it. Control group loose in the... They're in... Can't escape. The tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the... Struck. Without why you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here? He must have felt there was no hope of surviving. That killing himself would be easier. Oh, shit. So, yeah, dead. for doing that, Liara. Appreciate it. Shrimp, it's what's for dinner. <laughs> there's the tram. Doesn't look like there's any bad guys in here. Let's go. All right. Starting up the tram, maybe. Ah, there we go. Departing go. Central Station. Destination. Rift Station. Yeah. Yeah, I fried him up right, Mark. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. 
Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse al árbol de las puertas. <laughs> Special K would be super proud of me. And then she'd probably yell at me for not saying it right, also. <laughs> well, that door doesn't look like that will open. That's the emergency exit, so we're going to have to go this way. Bad guys? Okay, that's the... That looks like a potion that's on fire. Oh, the hot labs. There we go. Let's go in here first. Stand down. Oh, what's up, Captain? Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. Can those things work a train's controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. My name is Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh. I won't look like Boba Fett on tells the everyone his name. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and he ain't all there anymore. First, we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah? Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday, but we haven't heard from her since. I'm not gonna let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate ha, ha, it. Take Mark. you down to the hot labs. <laughs> oh, and if you need any he first aid, Dr. Cohen's thumb. downstairs in the med bay. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. You're certain oh, he's the Matriarch is still in the hot okay. labs. She hasn't come back here. You came through Central <laughs> Station, so she ain't there. Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. Tell me about the structure stupid of the Stupid crap that gets people killed. It's built into one of the glaciers <laughs> further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable one. Something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Uh, listen, I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? Venezia. You're certain the Matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. your people holding up we weren't expecting the initial wave they made it inside we lost some good people those of us left are short-handed we've kept order by long shifts and stems or short thumb i don't like it but i don't see an alternative i've got work to do yeah i hear that hell man the perimeter Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves <laughs> against their defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Yeah, Mark, they are they are kind of leaning into it, aren't they? You can see what's behind you here. Well, thanks. 
You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred. No, Mark, yes. you can't. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. What? That's a bit technical for me. I am very good at tracking inherited variations in genetic sequences. I'm sure you would find it quite dull. Do you know Matriarch Venezia? Why ask me and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? Well, you're just not very nice, so we're not going to talk to you. Then I will <laughs> return to my meditation. I lied. I wanted to. <laughs> well, let's talk to Dr. Palin. Wait, no, the Potosi. Uncertain. I welcome you. He is an elk. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I heard there were some problems up here. Furtively, I am concerned about the state of our guards. Many have been awake for days. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Excuse me one second. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. Hmm, he does have some stuff. What does that look like? That's no, still not as good as what I've got. Duration bonus, power, cooldown, huh? Nope. Oh, I'll buy one of those. That's good. Meta gel upgrade, I'll get that. Not, not as good as what I've got. Well, that one's a little better. I'll buy one of those. That shotgun. That'll be good. All right, I bought enough. Talk about Dr. Palin. What? No. Meta gel on toast. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Is there something you need? I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ayalis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. I don't need to know anything else from this guy again. Yeah, no. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. All right, what do we got here? We came from that. And then we've got the medical bay. There's the guard barracks. Captain Ventralis's office, then we've got elevator to the tram, elevator to the quarantine lab. I could have swore this is the one we get, the secure lab. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. I'll go to the restricted area. Warning. Watchdog protocol is active. Oh, because 
I open the door. I have a feeling they're not going to be nice to me after this. I probably should have done that. What's up, Rahomo? Ha, you dumbass. Yeah, this was This was probably not a good idea. I think it's going to seriously affect my my Paragon and Renegade rating. Fuck it, let's take it. <laughs> Cow pal does not look well all red and all. <laughs> yeah, I think they're going to be pretty mad at me. Where have I gone now? I'm not sure where I'm going now. Shit. 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 Oh well. Whoops. I'll try again. Here we go. Yeah, I think everybody's gonna be low. I do not know if I should have come this way. And I'm definitely probably doing the wrong thing. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Romo. We're uh, I'm, I'm playing uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. And I just made the entire station angry with me, which is probably not going to go good for my. Uh... Oh, oh, ow, ow, ow. Let's see. Restricted area was a bust. Let's go to the medical bay. We can't have any shooting in here. Okay. I mean, I'll put it away. I, I can't remember how to put it away, though. Oh, there we go. Please take it outside. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. Think you could run that equipment for us? 
Certainly, Commander. One moment, please. So, yeah. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. What are you doing over here? I administrate the systems of all of the various P-15 facilities. I form the core logic for Rift Station's automatic treatment system. What treatments have been attempted? I'm afraid treatment is not possible. An unknown toxin is present within the tissues of each patient. We don't need anything right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Yeah, I don't think he'll talk to me anymore. This is a hospital, for God's sake! We can't have any shooting in here. No. Let me check my journal. Oh, they're totally alerted to my presence. <laughs> well, I gotta go to the hot labs, that's right. Well, since everybody's dead, I may have, uh... Get away from me! Oh, yep, nobody likes me anymore. Med bay. I may have missed something back here, because it is a restricted area. Something I missed. No? I don't see anything. Kind of hard to tell why this was a restricted area to begin with. She you is. know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy. That no is Matriarch Benezia. this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Yeah. Indeed. If you don't bring her along on what this mission, told him about me, Liara? What they don't I have this dialogue. That you're insane, which is kind of cool. Evil. Mm -hmm. Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few Listen. humans have. That's that's Marina Sirtis, Counselor Troy. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict. Uh oh, we got stasis. that did not go well. The Geth are over here, guys.
Nazi is mad. Unstoppable. My oh yeah, Mark. Is filled with his light. She says everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You. You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly but the indoctrination is strong why are you able to break free of his control now i sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination saving it for a moment when i could help destroy him it will not last long so you could turn on me again yes but it would not be my will shepherd people are not See, themselves so she doesn't around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. The ship that attacked Eden Prime? I didn't think anything that size could land on a planet. Eden Prime was where all this it started. It has a very powerful Mass Effect drive, but that is not Sovereign's Title drop. true power. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mu Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. Oof. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. So the relay... It's another one of those devices that made Shepard trip out Someone at the beginning of the game. Found it? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. Oh, we'll find out. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Oh. Die. <laughs>
that don't happen very often. <laughs> Let's uh, let's overload your shields, and then let's neural shocker. That went way better. <laughs> I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Medigel. Maybe we can. No, he is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother, good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> and that's the end of Matri Matriarch Benezia. And those wonderful boobs. That is a Rachni queen. Now, you have an interesting thing here that you get to do. Look out! This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. The Krogan wiped the Rachni out a thousand years ago. The sky is quiet now. Our mother's songs are lost. And those who slew us now walk to meet the same fate. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen they stole Needle our man. eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. So, I have to kill before all the other Rachni. Before you deal with our children, <laughs> we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. So... If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we, I, do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, 
Psalms the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to Psalms teach our the color harmony. of oily shadows. If they understand, perhaps we would return. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to come I'm a nice guy. You. We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. right i'm nice to aliens turians don't like the cold shepherd did i ever mention that no you get it all right There's bad guys in here. The hot labs? I've not actually seen the hot labs. Or maybe I did. Maybe that's where I was just at. I can't remember. I gotta take a look. I don't wanna you know, I don't wanna miss anything. Yaroslav Tartakovsky. Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? The... I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. <laughs> Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni. He's very he Russian. Produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Obviously, they were wrong. Uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry. But this will not <laughs> Yes, <work>. it's tough. <laughs> These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get <laughs> genetic damage of varying degree. Once the Purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. Okay, I'm, I mean, I guess I'm ready. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will get near the store. Yummy! Alright. Where's the controls? Where's the controls? Maybe through here? 
Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input. 875-020-079. Code Omega. Local execution. Hey, that's Mark's social security number. Verify. Code Omega execution <laughs> in 120 seconds. I have two minutes to get the fuck out of here. again. back. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rakhdon This is the, the Council. Area? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they <laughs> overrun the galaxy? This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next Gosh. report, Commander. All right. What's up, Presley? If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Yeah. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I am gonna go have words with Williams. Because... The fun thing about this game is that in between missions, you need to go talk to your talk to your squad. The more they like you, uh, they will open up uh, open up additional missions that you can do with them. For instance, Kate.
Nah. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the stonewall that you've had from the Council. They deserve to know what we're up against. They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on them before my head stops hurting. Another L2 flare up. Ever thought about going back under the knife? Maybe get an upgrade? No thanks, Commander. One slip and you can't remember your own name. The L2s spike higher anyway. My abilities would drop with pain-free L3s. And it'd be a cold day before I turn myself over to a Kinetic subsidiary. I haven't heard anything about Kinetics in a while. Yeah, they quietly disappeared. Broke up into a bunch of little corps after they botched the training on Jump Zero. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. See, these Once are their personal stories. The Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. Did he ever face charges for that? He got his, yeah. But like everything else at Jump Zero, it was under the table. The less said, the better. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Take care, Mark. Right. Thanks for coming by, buddy. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting, though. Poor kid. Having to kill her old mom. Any opinion on the Rack 9? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Rack 9 war. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? All right, let's see. Who else do we have to talk to here? What's my locker? Replenish my meta gel. Thank you. I don't know that I need to talk to Dr. Chakwas. We'll talk to Liara, though. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be. Before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. I blame Saren. And if I were you, I'd want revenge. We have enough reason to stop Saren. I do not need to add revenge to the list. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, mm. I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool Ooh. of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. We don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit a hundred and fifty. <laughs> that is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your We are short-lived. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. Yeah, we do. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what, what you want. What a shock. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survive shows a remarkable strength. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. Yeah, I wanted stupid. to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? 
Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, yeah. your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. She's into me. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Williams and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, us? or was I wrong about that too? No. Yeah! yeah. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. These things never make sense. They just happen, and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, <laughs> so dangerous. I'm, I'm gonna hit that. <laughs> I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control and lost herself. So you gotta have these she conversations the with spell them of to further and became part each character's storyline as well. became part of the very she wanted to stop. But I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful. And now she is gone. Are you going to be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her. And I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. I don't need to talk to Chakwas, because she's, uh, um, she's just the, the nurse, the doctor. Looking for supplies? Oh yeah, you can. You can Let's buy see what you've got. This guy. You bet, Commander. Because he's got the the requisition. I don't want. I don't want to do anything of that, that though. Not yet. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. Solarians. Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market, but they're not as bad as the cyclones. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs. Had Gross. a station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian very convinced he'd never Dr. lost Salian, his liver. the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. You're kidding, right? Krogan testicles. Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. 
Somebody's making a killing out there. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. You mean threatened? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. Ew. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. My medics found incisions all over his body. Ew. Some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. Yes, that is He sick. was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Ooh. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties, and the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't listen. Well, it's not worth the risk. You pursue the vessel and disable it. That's the best choice. They sent the military after him, but he got away just the same. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Mm. I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't. But at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone like that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Ouch. those hostages might be wishing they died by now anyway. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart, his idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Salion, I want to be there when you find him. Thing there, and that opens up his his mission. So, ah, I love Rex. Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten to the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job. I just like hearing him talk. Of the Terminus <laughs> systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open. And he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. 
All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. What can you tell me about the Genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? <laughs> you ask a Krogan. Would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody Shepherd. can. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Commander. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It, it was yours. You know, you really <clears throat> should talk to Chisoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Just saying, Commander. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. Are you interested in the lieutenant chief? Of course not, sir. Fraternization is against regulations. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. <laughs> they always do. I didn't do. think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. Where were you when this was going on? I was on active duty. Sarah's graduating high school this year. This was only a couple of years back. They were on Amaterasu. At the time, I was assigned to Chernobyl. Amaterasu. Same cluster, but a dozen hell why away. Close enough to talk regularly, too far to make it back in an emergency. I couldn't afford a fast packet flight. If he really liked her, he wouldn't be pushy. Yeah, of course. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Ouch. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing mom and dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. <laughs> I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years, like a day's cruise. It's not like I was going to Earth or something. My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. 
I wanted to snap him in half. But Sarah gave me this look, this let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight-up puncher. When he swung, she just... she wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was gonna end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? Dad always wanted to serve in space. But he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that love me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. I didn't know you liked classical literature. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Everyone has the right to believe what they want. Says so on the Alliance Charter. That's right. If only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power. Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. Dismiss, Chief. All right, that's Sir. everybody. Okay. Let's go take a look. Tali, that's right. Oh, hello, Shepard. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, yeah, I might not have a home to go back to. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, 
leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. Yeah. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I want to talk about something else. Like what? I should go. See you we're, later. We're good here, Tally. <laughs> hey, Commander, you know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. <laughs> Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for tally, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Nope, we're good. That's it. All right. Now that we've talked to everybody. I love this game. I think this game is one of the bestest, bestest, bestest games there is. Let's see, where we need to go now. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in oh. from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. A message. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. Well, let's go to the comm room. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Hmm. So now, in my codex... No, not my codex, sorry, the journal. So we've got Vermeer. That's a thing. Race against time. Gotta find the conduit. Explore Ferris, Novaria, the Artemis Tau Cluster, and Vermeer to find the clues that will lead you to the conduit before Saren. So those four planets, which we've already done Novaria, those four planets are connected to the main storyline. Once you go to all four of those places, then you get uh, information on another place, and that's where you go, and that's how you finish the game. So we've got the Geth attack on Pharos. Now, we've also got assignments. See, this has triggered... There's Garrus' mission. We've got a missing person. Go to the Strenna system. And the UNC... Uh, that's the UNC mission. It's the Rogue VI. Head to the Sol system in the local cluster and deal with the Rogue VI. Ah, uh, right. I gotta talk to him. 
We have those the data disk one. That's or, yeah. So some of these require me to go back to this, back to the, uh, uh, back to the um, citadel. Let's go to uh, the Hydra system in the Argus Row cluster. Just see what's there. No. So we've already checked out all those. Let's see. That's where Saul is. Armist Town. Gamma. The Argus Row Cluster. So it wanted us to go to Hydra, so we're gonna go. Whew. Right, see we were parked on Novaria, so we've gotta go. Oh, I love her. I love her. She's such a pretty ship. Again, is a Mass Effect relay. That's how we get around. So it looks like there are five planets in this system. Seba. It can be surveyed. We found a gas deposit. All right. Let's see. They are. Uh, there's nothing there. We've got Barmalus. Doesn't look like there's anything there. Metco. Message coming in. Oh. Patching it through. The general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Okay, so we're gonna land on Metgos. We need to, we need to take a look at Canrum, and it can be surveyed. Oh, look, there's a big story there. A Turian insignia was recovered. All right, All right let's go to Metgos, land, and see what's happening on this planet. All right, let's take. Uh, we'll take uh, we'll take uh, Liara and Garrus again. It just the Mako just comes out. All right, let's take a look. What does our map say? Okay, we got two question marks and some debris. Transponder signal and the anom anomaly. Let's go here. And now we explore. I love getting up the mountains. Take a look. Turian corpse. Recover the artifact. All right. A Turian insignia. Yay. All right, get 
get back in the car. Now, let's take a look at... Yeah, let's go get the debris first. Sometimes, there is stuff hidden on these planets that are... that you don't see right at first. But they appear on your mini-map when you drive past them. Yeah, you can do it. There you go. I love the Mako. The Mako does not get a shit. <laughs> Salvage the crap, the crap probe. Whoops. Ah, crap. Wow. Oh. There we go. Hey, there we are. Got some stuff. All right. Get back in the thing. And let's. We'll go here first. Just to see. See if anything else comes across there. I don't know. I don't know if the old Mako's got the juice. It's a shithole. wasn't on the map. I believe it's on the map now. Nope. Looks like some mineral. Mercury deposit. surveyed some mercury. Now let's go, now we can go to the transponder signal. See, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of exploration, there's dialogue, there's fighting, there's, God, this game just has everything. Woo-hoo! 
Thorium deposit. So we'll survey the mineral. A rare element. And it's just money and XP and. Yeah, I love it. Alright, what do we got over here? Yeah, it's a trap. It is a trap. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was it. All right, so let's check on. Let's go to the Strenus system. Return to the Normandy. Hey, Jason. Not a very good trap, apparently. It's only not a good trap because I, uh, I was kicking ass. All right, so let's zoom up out of here. Where was the Strenus system? Is the Exodus cluster. I feel like we saw that right at the top of here. Jason, you ever played this game before? It's one of those games I've seen played a million times. It's a very popular game. Oh, yes. This game is terrific. Uh, let's speak to Kahuku. The Strenus system. Horsehead Nebula. What it says right there. Bleah. In the Horsehead Nebula. Sweet. Zawin has nothing. Antiara has nothing. Antitara, sorry. Th 
that's all gone. Must be trailing. Oh, it's not? Majesty. There's a ship. It's a derelict. Scan it. Faint trail of radioactive particles, possibly exhaust from a satellite nuclear engine drive, leads towards the nearby planet of Zowie. Okay. So now, now we land to check it out. and Garrus again. They're kind of my favorites, so. All right. Well, whatever it is, we've got a... Oh, look at this. Ooh. There's a lot. Okay. Anomaly, 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 abandoned camp, anomaly, privateer base, debris. All right. Hey, Shavar. Mr. Thumbs, thanks, guy. We are taking a look. You know what? Let's get this one first. We'll, we'll get the far out one out of the way. Javar, you ever played this game before, bud? I'm kind of glad I got it on PC, too. It looks amazing. Oh, look at this. There's an anomaly. And some minerals right next to each other. Okay. Let's check out this anomaly. Examine this corpse trying to mark the nearby mineral deposit when he died or was killed. Mm. Okay, well, let's... That mineral deposit is... I didn't want to walk all the way there. <laughs> let's survey it. All right. Done. Surveyed some heavy metal. Heavy metal. Let's get back in here. I haven't played it. I've watched others, though. I think I'm about to pick up Lego Star Wars. Dude, totally pick up Lego Star Wars. That may be something... That may be something I end up playing eventually as well on stream. Because that looks super fun. Everything I've seen about that... I know it can be beaten really quickly. Um, but everything I've seen about it just makes it look awesome. It just looks awesome. No mass effect, though. Let's, let's take a look here. Generator. Okay, let's activate it. No one left. Generator still functioning. No signs. The former computer notes sent several locations of interest. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Hey! It put the uh, mineral deposits on the map. That's great. Let's go take a look at this debris. I kinda wanna do a co-op stream of Star Wars. I'd be down for that. Ooh. Javar, I, let me think about that, buddy, because that might be awesome. Gonna get up the shallow side of the mountain here. I'm kind of excited I haven't had to fight a Thresher Beast yet. Thresher Beasts suck. Worth a lot of money, though. Hey, 
there's something else at this uh, at this uh, location as well. I just say. Oh, the pressure moss sucks so bad. Come up underneath you, it really fucks your shit up. Thrasher Maws. Woof. Take a look at this anomaly right here. See, I try to systematically go, you know, I don't want to waste my time on the planet, but I want to get everything. The one, it's kind of disappointing too that with Mass Effect 2 and 3 in their quest to kind of try to make it more accessible to people who maybe don't want to play an RPG they took the Mako stuff out and I was like well I actually like the Mako stuff I like finding new planets and discovering shit you know got me uh, one of those things area map oh right because it so now we'll get over there. Let's see what this planet being a level one has. You can't stay outside of your. You can't stay outside of the Mako for now. Unless you're inside. Which happens sometimes. See that let level one hazard see it start going up okay let's take a look come on got some cobalt okay put a new map marker down let's go to this anomaly a geth trap.
didn't like that, did ya? There's something at this beacon? Okay. Alright, so that was that. Let's go get that. I do enjoy flying across chasms in the Mako sometimes. Watch out for the bushes of love. Yeah. Something's waiting in the bushes for us. Ooh. That privateer base has got a lot of shit around it. It is parked. It's on level terrain. I don't know what the problem is. Alright. Let's go inside. See what kind of kind of bullshit these guys have for us in here. Bad guys. Yep. Still a sniper on that roof, though. Take a look here. Oh, okay. guy up here. Come on. I wonder if... Nope. Come on, where's the stairs? Ah, here we go. 
Oh, didn't see us coming. Did you, you motherfucker? <laughs> Anything down here? There's a crate down here. I'll take that stuff. There's a crate right there. I'll take that stuff. back and there's some uh... yeah <sighs> take that data pad because this is the guy and I gotta find Gareth in the Citadel Tower okay so that'll be a, that's a, a Citadel mission I gotta go to Kahuku and that's the data disk stuff that's Nasana, okay. I think. Yeah. The rest of this stuff, the valuable minerals, yeah, okay. The rest of this stuff is, uh, I have to, uh, uh, find, uh, or go back to the Citadel. So instead, we're gonna go take Garrus and find Dr. Salian to the Herschel system in the Kepler Verge. got everything on this planet. We're going to get back in the Mako and get back on board the Normandy. Return to the Normandy. Yep. Let's go to the Kepler Verge. Be thorough. Message coming in. Patching it through. I've received some information. I thought you Lance Henriksen. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? We found a connection between the scientists and you. They all worked on a classified project several years ago on a coos. Ooh. Coos. I lost my whole unit there. That's tied to my personal. You're saying that background. our scientists were involved? I can't get any information on what they were working on. The project records were sealed. Commander, Shepard, what Shepherd. you do with this is up to you. I just thought you'd want to know. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth fleet out. Okay. Dr. Wayne, huh? Okay. Survey Clancory. Matriarch's writings were discovered. Onteram. Ah, I can land on Onteram. So I do that yet. Go to Sesmos. Nothing. Survey it. Gas deposit. Right, now, let's go land on Ontario. I will take 
my girlfriend and my best buddy. Ooh, this is a verdant planet. All right, what do we got here? We have an anomaly, some debris, and an underground facility. Let's go take a look. There's no hazards on this planet either. That's pretty cool. I think the coolest thing about the the original Mass Effect with all these planets, they're not done, for, they're not procedurally generated, which is what a lot of planets uh, nowadays in today's games are. That's how they can get so many. Uh, every single planet in the Mass Effect galaxy was hand-drawn. What are those? Let's just go ahead and take care of those. Mm -hmm. Turian corpse. Okay. We'll cover the artifact. Whoops. Ah, shit. Damn. I'm sucking. There we go. Ancient paper book with the Bostra outpost insignia. Alright. That was that. Now. head in this direction. You know, there could possibly be more stuff on this planet, but... I'm wasting time here. Here we go, crash probe, salvage. All right, manual bypass. Got it. All right. Ooh. Some bad guys over here. But they might be hiding something. Oh, that's the place. inside this building and see what's up. I love this part, man. Like, you're just, you're exploring and, and, and running around and, yeah, I love it.
dead guy. Oh, there are some dead guys in here. Or there's about to be, anyway. That's some bullshit. Ah, oh, fine. I forgot about that. No auto save on these planets. Bullshit. Bullshit. stuff and that stuff and that stuff all right here we go let's get less exposed Really? Oh, you're dead! 
<laughs> Here, let's uh, let's throw you. Shotguns. This is not a way, so... Stay back. Oh. I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please. He's a madman. Mr. Toombs, you're insane. You need help. Shut up. You don't get to lie. You don't... Shepard? My God. Shepard, is that you? Toombs? But you were on a coos. I saw the Thresher mob pull you under. They took me, Shepard. The scientists. You can't prove any of this. This man is delusional. See, they were running tests on the Thresher Maws. Oh. They let those things hit us just to watch and study. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. Tombs, I... I didn't see anybody. If I'd seen you, I'd have come back for you, I swear. You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. He was there, you bastard. He knows the truth. They're part of some organization, Cerberus, that runs secret Cerberus. tests like this. They treated me like a lab animal. This man deserves to die, Shepard. Cerberus is important. For you, for me, for everyone else in the unit. Are you with me? You're better than this, Tombs. You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, a and I was reputation. tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. Tombs, if I could have helped you on a coups, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. <sighs> okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. Wow. I don't know. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. We did it. Paragon stuff for that. Good. All right. Let's get back in here. Return to the Normandy. Let's see what my journal says. Make my report to Hackett. Wait, isn't that where I do it? Message coming there in. Go. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. 
Corporal Two seems to have found some closure. Hopefully with therapy, he'll have a normal life again someday. I hope this helped you find some peace, Commander. Thank you. Fifth Fleet out. Okay, we need to go to the other system in this, in the Verge, Herschel. This is the one on the mission we were going to do until, until the Fifth Fleet called. Okay, so that's where my mission is. Let's take a look. Oh, nothing on Tungle. Atoll? Nope. Yeah, I was going to say, sometimes there's good shit in the asteroid belt. Found a good metal-rich asteroid. Heavy metal. Nice. Clobaca. Nothing here. Scan the rest of this asteroid belt, see if there's something else in it. No, nope, looks like we're good. Natoll, I scanned already. Klugon. Nothing there. Alright. Take out the MSF Fidel. Several biological research modules. This is Dr. R. Hart. This is, I have to take Garrus with me on this one. Garrus will want to talk to this guy. So this is Garrus's mission. Assault rifle is still my favorite. You guys look hurt. Let's fix that. No containers in here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salion. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. We'll take him in. Drop him off with the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Salarian. You owe the mm. commander your life. Oh. Thank you so very much. And so he died anyway. What was the point of that? You can't predict how people will act, Garrus. But you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. 
Well, I guess we're done here. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's time to head back to the Normandy, but not before I do all this crap. Can I get in there? Level up. Ah, crap. Yeah, I want to get stuff. Hey, I got some biotic amps. That's awesome. Got some, got some armor there. Nice. Some stuff out of that. So you just get stuff, like constantly, just stuff. Oh, well, this is the, the bridge of the ship. All right. Let's go back. Now everybody knows all the planets here. Scan the asteroid though, nothing. All right, so let's take a look at Pluto. Nothing. in this in this system anyway Saturn there's Luna Mars Venus nothing Mercury nothing Earth let's see what it has to say about her Strap space development. <laughs> hey, in the future, the population gets up to 11.4 billion. Luna, this is where we're going. The moon. We'll take our buddies. Look at Earth's up there, I love it. Alright, let's go, let's take a look at the map. Yeah, we'll go get the debris. There are no Thresher Maws on the moon. Probably change the loadout on my assault rifles to kill synthetics. Since those are what are doing me the most harm.
Come on, you can do it. Save on that bitch. Let's get him. Okay. Now we're ready. All right. Oh, whoops. That was close. <laughs> Destroy these again. first part. second one. And before we do this, we'll save it again. I didn't see that one before.
That sucked. Okay, we got one more. Okay. <laughs> I actually am winning, Rahomo. I wasn't. I, I died on this and then had to go back and do the first part again, but... Now I'm on the third part. And this is the last way. And this is the last one. Oh right, because there's toxic gas. Yes, yes, okay. And this will be the one I believe where the VI starts trying to talk to me and be like, please don't do this. This sucks. I hate it. Oh, look at this. Let me see. Oh, shit! Apparently <laughs> when they all shoot at once, it's fucked. <laughs> well, there you go, Rahomo. There's me losing badly. <laughs> it's definitely an oof. <laughs> but I saved it right there. Uh -huh. I learned. So we'll get this again. All right. Oh, hey, there's another one. Missed that last time. There we go. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Bad guys break the rules and attack all at once. Yes. Yes, they did. And I suffered and paid the price. Make sure there's nothing. No containers in here. Fun stuff I can grab. No. No. <laughs> Thanks, Javar. <laughs> It's 
so this will be the VI conduit. And start talking to me and shit. I think. Additional security drones powering up. That's exactly what I want. This is on Earth's moon, by the way. This is on the actual moon. There's a whole lot of fuck you! Burst of white noise, hard suits, heads up display, and zeros and ones and zeros. Hey, Javar, what's that say? <laughs> I like that it says specialization class achieved. That's pretty sweet. Replace my base class and the talents on the squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class transfer over to your specialization class. Go to your squad screen to view the bonuses you gain with each rank. Ooh. Hey, neat. So I get to pick. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bastion or Medic? Uh, let's see. I will... I will boost Bastion. All right, so we're going to get back to, we're going to get back to the Normandy. And then we will, I will throw some hot save on this bitch. There we go. And that. I think is going to do it for me for this episode of uh, the Mass Effect Marathon. Also, thank you guys so much for being here. This is a lot of fun. I do enjoy streaming uh, all types of games. You know, I it's it's uh, you know it's just it's just fun for me. It's a release. So uh, I'm gonna go watch Batman on HBO Max now. So uh, you guys take care, and as always, thank you for playing. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, y'all.